Welcome back to Distance and Learning and Teaching Oh My. I'm Molly Schaefer and this video is about how to close read an informative text. So what are informative texts? Well, informative texts give information about a subject or a topic. Informative texts usually are nonfiction. And the point of informative text is to teach people about a topic or a subject. Examples of informative texts are magazine articles, newspaper articles, textbooks, manuals, etc. Say so what? What is close reading? Close reading is when students analyze or examine a text, reread it for understanding, and connect with it on a deeper level. Last off! Timothy Shanahan defines close reading as intensive analysis of a text in order to come to terms with what it says, how it says it, and what it means. Vocabulary. When students read an informative text, it's important for them to understand vocabulary. One strategy of close reading is for students to define unknown terms. I have my students highlight these words in blue and define them in the right hand margin of the text. Vocabulary is out of this world central idea and supporting evidence. When students are analyzing the informative text, it is important for them to understand the author's message or central idea of the text. What is the big idea? Students must also find textual evidence main ideas to support their findings. Central idea! Questions. Questioning is a high-level thinking strategy. Good readers automatically question when they read, but struggling readers will need help with this practice. In order to help my students develop their ability to ask high-level questions, I use two strategies. Numero uno, number one. If a student is confused by something in the text, I have them highlight the section in yellow and ask their question in the margin. This isn't the highest level of thinking, but it builds up to it. Numero dos, number two. Students can also highlight a text section yellow and turn it into a quiz question. These questions can help students study for their test. What a bright idea! Connections. It's important for students to connect to what they've read in order for them to understand it better. I have my students use emojis to connect to the text. If students like the information that they read, then they can use a happy face and show why they like it. If students dislike the information or they're confused by it, they can use an emoji to show this. I have my students highlight the sections of the text that they're connecting with in pink. Then, students make connections to the text in the right-hand margin of the text. Thumbs up, man! <laughs> Summarize. Be objective without any opinions. When students finish closed reading, they should summarize what they read. In closing, close reading helps students explain the point of texts. Let's review. Informative texts give information about a topic or a subject. Close reading helps students analyze or examine what they've read. Vocabulary is essential for students to understand the text. Finding the central idea or big idea of the text helps students understand the message of the text. Students must use textual evidence to support their findings. Students should make connections between the text and their life. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. TTFN, ta ta for now. Oomph, 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 oomph.